All right, on three, we're all gonna come down. One, two, three. What's going on YouTube? You're back with the Prez. We're in Juniper Park today, and today I'm going to be bringing you another pull-focused workout. As you guys know, the goal of the next four to six weeks, well now it's about three to five weeks, it's already been a week of training, the goal is to increase the max number of full range of motion dead stop pull-ups. When we tested, we were at 23, and that was after taking five months off of doing pull-ups. So again, this pull-focused workout is going to be all on increasing our pull repetitions. And as you guys know, I've been keeping the workload to only with a 35 pound kettlebell max load to keep the stress off the nervous system. And again, remember, it's a lot easier for the muscle to recover, to recover than the nervous system. And when it comes to the tendon strength, when you're doing those heavy loaded sets with heavy weighted calisthenics, the muscles get a lot stronger fast than the tendons, which can lead to a lot of joint pain, elbow pain, things like that. So we've been dramatically decreasing the load that we've been working with, higher volume. So we're gonna be working for five rounds today. We're going to be doing 10 second chin over the bar hold with the 35, drop the 35 without leaving the bar, max pose, aiming for 10 to 15 every set after the dead hand, after the chin over the bar hold. Let's go. so I could just drop it from my waist while being on the bar. I'm going to cap it at 12, I could have pushed out 15, but I don't want to fatigue too much on the first set, so I don't have drop off reps for the next four sets. Five rounds total, two to three minute break in between each set, let's go. Alright, let's get it. Set two, remember, for the body weight reps, there's got to be a full dead hang, full lockout repetition, chin over the bar, every rep for it to count, no chasing. Let's go, set two. All right, guys, like I said, it's another pull-focused workout where we're focusing on doing routines that are going to help us increase our overall body weight repetitions. I've spoke about isometrics many times in the past. Isometrics are an excellent tool that you guys should be utilizing to help you bust through plateaus. Remember, isometrics can be used at any point throughout a range of motion of a given exercise. It's going to allow you to target a specific area which should be the weakest area for you in that range of motion. So for instance, here we're doing 10 second chin over the bar holds to start the set off with the 35 pound kettlebell. Now, the reason why we're doing them chin over the bar is because in order for a pull up rep to count in any competition or for a rep to count if you're counting them, the chin has to get over the bar. Some people could get away with not fully locking out, not coming to full extension or dead hanging at the end and they could almost bounce up and down and get reps to count, right? As long as that chin goes over the bar, that's what people want to see. So it's an area during a pull-up that is critical to be strong in. So we start the set off with a 10 second hold chin over the bar, which is when the back is fully contracted. Remember, every type of rep repetition has a contraction and an eccentric portion to it. So getting your body from the bottom dead hang the chin over the bar that's contracting the entire posterior chain contracting the black the back then you're holding isometrically chin over the bar to pre-exhaust and fatigue the back before we get into the body weight reps so the body weight reps are done under exhaustion and the goal is of the body weight reps again every rep has to get full chin over the bar we're trying not to chase with our neck and reach over the bar we're trying to pull high enough each rep so we get a nice full dead hang position and then full chin over the bar where we could see clearly with our head over the bar every rep. And again, breathing is key. Woo. Four sets in, getting tough for sure. All right, let's go. Set five. 
about three minute break between set four and set five now. Set four was really tough, but again, we haven't broke yet. We caught 12 every set. 10 second chin over the bar to start. Let's get it. And like I was saying, when you're in that isometric contracted position, you guys got to focus on breathing. Don't clench your teeth. Don't squeeze your mouth together. That's going to cause dizziness and a headache. You want to maintain a good breathing pattern. And when you get into the repetitions, every rep should be a breath. That's how you're going to get sufficient oxygen to the muscles. Even though it's anaerobic training, you're still going to be able to get a little bit of oxygen in during the reps to help you push out with this endurance work. Ciao, ciao, ciao. This is a YouTube video. Alright guys, that was five rounds, 10 second chin over the bar hold with the 35 pound kettlebell, Yo. drop it right away, 12 body weight reps for a total of 60 total body weight reps, 50 seconds of weighted holds. That's the first routine on the pull day, remember everything is focused on increasing the overall body weight pull up reps, right? Try all these methods out. We're going to break from pulls, get some handstand work in, and then finish off with more pull work. Let's get it. All right, so we hit five rounds of the isometric weighted holds with 12 body weight pull-ups. Now, like I said, I'm gonna break the pull work up with just some handstand press practice, right? Remember, training shoulders and back together are very two, are two muscle groups that are very smart to train together. Remember, they work in similar planes of motion and similar movement patterns, just opposite forces. Remember, pull-ups are pulling this range of motion, handstands are pushing in this range of motion, same planes of motion, just opposite forces. So, handstand press up. If we go for reps on it, let's see how we're feeling. Set one, we're just gonna do a few rounds of this again, just to break up the pull work. Just for a deep negative again, I don't really, I'm not focusing on the press ups here, just the balance aspect, take a little stress off the pulling muscles. Two to three more rounds of this, let's get it. All right, so the third set, handstands, let's get it. This guy's crazy. When you see, set two and set three there, we threw the press up in. And I try going as deep as possible on that one. We'll go for one more set and back to the pull work. All right, guys, so you guys saw we broke the last set of pull-up work with handstands. We did four sets, press-ups, two, one handstand push-up as deep as possible. Now we're going to go for max pulls, body weight, jumping right into the block band, aiming for 30-plus clips a set. Three sets here to end off the routine. Again, I'm going to go max out body weight, get right in the black band, and try to get 30 plus a clip. Right into the black band. All right, so we caught 30. On the first set, went for the 31. Two fatigues. I'll rest about three minutes now. Two more sets. Let's get it. All right, guys. This is the third set of the pose. It's going to be the last round. We didn't film the second set because the camera's going to start to die. And I don't want it to overheat. So I got my guys here. Where are you guys from? New York. New York. There you go. I got the whole crew with me. Queens. They've been shouting me out, hyping me up. We got one of them. 
filming. One's gonna hold the band for me. Let's go, another 30 clip. Let's get it. Let's get it. I say do it. All right, so this is the third set of the Max Rep Neutral Grip pull-ups using a band when I get fatigued. So the first two clips, I was able to hit 30-30. So in my head, I said, wow, let me rest a little longer, see if I can bang out 40 and go for 103 sets. But I was extremely fatigued. By like rep 12 or 13, I was starting to really feel it. You're going to see right here at rep 15, I asked for the band help right now. And here you guys can really see the benefit of the bands. At 15 bodyweight reps, I was extremely fatigued. I probably wouldn't be able to pull out one more rep. But throwing the band in, I was able to get myself past 20. So I pulled out another six total repetitions just by getting that little bit of energy bounce back from the band at the bottom of the rep. 24. You want to miss the bus, huh? Starting to get fatigued after the three rounds. All right, guys. We're going to go for our last set. Burnout set like always. We're going to go for a little bar complex. Let's get it. Alright guys, look, I went for a muscle up at the end, too fatigued from all the pulling, so we started, five rounds, weighted pull up holds, dropping the weight, five sets of 12 body weight pulls right away after. We interrupted the pull work with some handstand press ups on the dip bars, then we went back to three sets of 25 plus a clip, three bar neutral grip pull ups, and then again we tried burning out here, we were going for 10 pulls, one muscle up. 10 pulls again without leaving the bar, but the pull muscle is just too fatigued and I don't want to strain the elbow, struggling up for that muscle up. So like I said, all this pull work is geared toward helping me increase my overall pull up reps in one clip. Full range of motion, dead hang, chin over the bar is the goal. We got another three to five weeks until we max out again and retest our one set max. So like always guys, try these methods out. You don't got to use as much weight as I did for the isometric holds. You guys can use body weight even. You guys can do 10 second body weight holds, drop right down and go into max body weight pull ups, right? Those isometric holds, chin over the bar, is gonna increase the time under tension. It's gonna fatigue the muscle before you get into the reps. So it's gonna be more effective for helping you get those reps in under fatigue. And when you're fresh, you're gonna be stronger. Like always guys, like the video, it helps the algorithm out. Share with your friends, your family. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And like always guys, peace out. Born Naturals.